Hello, and thank you for joining me on my video series. Um, my name is Devin Olson, and uh, today's video, uh, this video series, is installing and configuring um, IBM Lotus uh, Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on Cent OS 6. I'm Devin Olson. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is all users must exist in a group, so I want to create a group for my user. And so I'm going to issue the command. It's really, really difficult. You ready? It's group add. And I want to add notes as the, the name of the group. So notes. And wow, look at that. I got no error. That means I now have a group called notes. And again, as a reminder, I'm running up under the context of root. If I were to try this under my Dolson uh, ID, I wouldn't have the ability to do any of this. So I've now said group add notes and now I have my notes group so the next thing obviously I would need to do would be to add a group I want to create a group and so or excuse me not a group I apologize just create a group uh, create a user and so the command for creating a user in Linux is just as ridiculously simple it's user add u-s-e-r-a-d-d -D. however don't get ahead of me now it gets weird because the user add command has a whole set of, of, of things, um, of parameters and arguments that we need to give to it. So um, we're going to start out by um, all notes, like, or excuse me, all users within Linux need to be a member of a group. So the minus G parameter identifies the group within which my new user that I'm creating is going to exist. And it's going to be notes, N O T E S. Now, Notice there's no space there. It's not user add space minus g space notes. It's user add space minus g notes because that's how it works. I don't need a space there. I don't want a space there. If I stuck a space there, it would confuse things. So now my next parameter is going to be um, the startup shell. So it's the minus s is, is the actual argument and the parameter it's going to take is the name of the startup shell. I don't know if s means startup or f means s means shell, but this is what it's for. And so it's going to be the bin bash directory and because we everything starts at the lowest level at the root, there's the backslash or excuse me the slash for, for that and it's going to go into bin and bash. And this is the, this identifies where the scripts and for this user's shell when they log in, this is where the operating system can find them. So when, when, when I try and sign in as this user, this tells the operating system where to go to find all, any scripts for this user. And so the next thing I need to, uh, the next parameter here, or the next argument and the parameter I'm going to pass to that is what is this user's home directory going to be? And that's, so that's minus D, D for directory, and the user's home directory is pretty simple. Uh, slash home and then um, a slash and then notes n-o-t-e-s because that's kind of the naming standard like the home directory for the user Dolson is slash home slash Dolson so again make note of the fact that we have for all of these arguments uh, there's no space between the argument and the parameter so minus g notes there's no space minus s and then the slash there's no space and then same with minus d and then for the slash and home there's no space so now the next um, next argument I want to add um, is minus M for make this user. I don't know what M stands for, but that's what I, how I remember it. Now this is weird because at this point um, I actually put in a space. Why? I don't know why, but this is how it works. And the name of this user is going to be notes. So minus M space notes. There's my command. Boom. Hey, look at that. I now have created this user. This user now exists in the system. Doesn't have a password. So let's add a password for notes. So P A S S W D space N O T E S. This is telling the operating system I want to assign a password to the user declared as notes. And here we go. We're going to change the password for the user notes. Here's the new password. And I'm going to type in N O T E S. And being Linux, it's going to tell me that password sucks. It's an insecure password. It's too short, it's too simple. So retype the new password, and I'm going to type in N-O-T-E-S, the same password as before, and I'm going to hit enter. And look, it accepted it. Why? Well, because as I said earlier, um, in, in the previous video when we were installing um, Linux, when we were installing the CentOS here, the operating system assumes that 
me being signed in as root, it assumes that I know what I'm doing. So even if I'm going to do something really, really stupid, it will let me. It will warn me, hey, you're doing something dumb, but it's still going to let me. So we've done that. And so now I can go ahead and exit out of here. Now you'll notice that first exit exited me out of the root login back to the Dolson login. And I'm going to go ahead and hit exit again. And so now I've, I'm, I'm going to log out. Um, <clears throat> now just to demonstrate, I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to um, system and I'm going to go to administration and I'm going to go to users and groups. And because I'm signed in as, as Dolson, it, I need to authenticate with a user that has the right to look at users and groups. So again, I have to enter the password. And you'll notice now that we're up, there's my notes user, so it has been created. So at this point, um, this system has the directories, has the executables, everything's unarchived, my users has been, have been created. Um, it's essentially ready at this point for me to go ahead and install um, Domino. Now what I'm going to do is, in order to install Domino, I'm going to have to log out. So I'm going to log out completely. And here we go. Now you'll see my notes users there. I'm going to log in as, as notes and enter notes password, N-O-T-E-S. And so we're going to log in here and um, we're going to install Domino, but we're not going to do that during this video. I need to cut it short and we'll install Domino on the next video in this series. And basically we'll pick up right here where we've logged in as notes. So um, thank you very much for joining me for this video series. And uh, please come back for the next one. I'm Devin Olson.